The Honda Civic is an awesome car, especially for the value for money that you get. But unfortunately, any audiophile is going to be extremely disappointed with the stock audio system. Not only does it not have any bass whatsoever, but it also rattles like crazy. And it was driving me crazy trying to listen to my music through all the rattling sounds. Luckily, I found a solution. If we add some soundproofing materials to the inside of the car and also replace the speakers up front, then we end up with a killer audio system that you're gonna love. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do exactly that. Install some sound deadening material inside the car and replace the front speakers. Unfortunately, replacing the rear speakers will have to be its own video. You don't even want to know how difficult that part is. Once you get it loose. All right, now let's get started. First, you're gonna wanna buy this from Amazon. I have a link down below. This material helps drastically reduce vibrations in a metal panel that you apply it to. Check this out before and after. We're gonna do that to the inside of our car to help our audio system. So check it out. Here's before, here's after. Next up, you're gonna need to purchase some speakers that fit in your car. I'd highly recommend going to crutchfield.com, punching in your car, selecting front lower door location, and looking through your list of options. Trust me. Anything in this list is going to be way better than your stock speakers. Now, once you have that stuff, grab a pair of gloves, exacto knife, rubbing alcohol, trim removal tool, and a hard plastic or wooden roller. Before we begin, we need the adhesive backing glue on the back of this product to be warm and sticky to stick to the car properly. Most installers recommend laying it out on the ground in the sun for a while before using it, or using a heat gun. We need to remove this window switch panel assembly with a cloth over the tip of a flathead screwdriver, gently pry up on the corner here until you hear the first clips pop out of place. Then work your way around until the entire panel slowly pops up and out. Disconnect the connections from the back, then with a Phillips head screwdriver, unscrew this one screw holding the entire panel in. Then underneath the door panel, there is a small gap between the plastic door panel and the sheet metal where you can wedge a screwdriver in. Use it as leverage to pry open the door panel. You're going to hear a series of loud pops. You may even see some small green plastic clips fall out from the door panel. Don't worry, this is normal. I will show you how to put them back later. Keep working your way around the door panel until it's fully popped off. Then come up here and remove this tweeter speaker and remove its connections. Then come down here and unplug all of these connections and remove this clip that attaches it to the door panel. Then, on the right side of the door, use a small flathead to remove this connection as well. Now peel this factory insulation about halfway down. Now we need to prepare the inside of the door. With some rubbing alcohol and a microfiber or other lint-free cloth, wipe down the inside of the door. After that, take a measuring tape and measure the inside of your door. You're going to be using these measurements to cut down your first butyl layer. Now cut down your vibration absorbing butyl layer into pieces that can fit inside your panel. I've taken some rough measurements and I've cut mine down into squares like so. Test fit your patch to make sure it fits, then heat with a heat gun if necessary. Then peel off the paper backing and stick to the inside. Then take our roller and roll the material down as flat as possible. Continue this process until you have as much of the panel covered as possible. There is some debate here, but generally 75% coverage is fine. Now we get to the fun part, the speakers. Unscrew the screw at the top with a large Phillips screwdriver, then pull up on the speaker and the entire unit will pop upwards and out. Then disconnect the two pin from the back of the speaker by pinching and pulling out. Now, can I just say how disappointed in Honda I am? These speakers have to be literally the cheapest speakers on the entire planet. They literally feel like styrofoam or paper cups. And you see this tiny little magnet on the back here? That's what's producing your sound. Now, to give you some reference, check out our aftermarket speaker. What is it, like four times bigger? And plus, it uses rubber and aluminum, not styrofoam or whatever terrible material this is. Ugh. Okay, go ahead and grab your bracket that came with your crutch field order and also your wiring adapters. 
If you didn't order from Crutchfield, just be aware that you may have to purchase these separately in order to get this to work. The included bracket will slide in and then down into the two holes in the frame of the door, and then you'll feel it kind of snap in at the top. Grab your screw and screw in the bracket. Then grab your speaker and your wiring harness and plug it into the speaker. Don't worry, this only fits in one way, so there's literally no way to mess it up. Then plug in the connector on the back. And then for actually mounting the thing, you're gonna have to refer to the user manual that shipped with your speakers. Every pair of speakers is going to be a lot different, so I won't try to explain that here. Then I'd highly recommend grabbing some foam and ripping the foam up into little pieces and then placing the foam behind these cables that run behind your door. This will prevent those pesky cables from rattling while you're driving along or listening to bass heavy music perhaps. And we're almost done. Now just put the factory insulation back on, reconnect all the cables, pop everything back into place. Also pop those little green clips back into place. They just slide back in on the door panel. Screw the one screw back in, pop everything in, and reconnect the window switch assembly and pop that back in as well. And you're done. Now it's time to actually turn on the car and play some music and listen to the results. I guarantee that you're gonna be blown away. You won't believe how much of a difference it makes when you install aftermarket speakers in your car, especially in the Honda Civic. I haven't had experience with other cars, but I know that the Civic's sound system is terrible. Even if you buy literally the cheapest speakers on Crutchfield, it's still going to be a lot better. And with our extra sound deadening material, you're going to get every ounce of bass possible out of those speakers, whatever you buy. So, I hope you guys liked this video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, and check out this channel in the future for more videos on how to modify your Honda Civic, including a pretty fancy one coming up about the self-driving system that I've installed in my car. Alright, thanks for watching, see you later.